spread um, I wanted to share with you that this coming Monday I will be picking up my little Yorkie poo puppy her name is Lola May um, so I want to show you some of the essentials I got for her so the first essential is this cute baby blanket I got it from Tuesday morning um, I think it was like $4.99 but um, it's just got like little um, cloud pink clouds on it and like gray spots on it and her bed is gray but her bed's downstairs and I'm not about to go back down there but I got this from Tuesday morning for $4.99 so this is to bring her home and I've been sleeping with it every night so far the next item I have is this I actually got this from the dollar store sorry I just finished watching ASMR videos so I kind of feel like making sounds I'm sorry <laughs> if y'all did that or not but I got this from the dollar store just for um, a temporary bowl for now and for traveling and such um, these are some of the accessories that I have I got the clicker for her training and I'm going to this is $4.99 Chris got me this for Lola from I think it was Pet Value. He got this from Pet Value for me. Um, this is from a while ago. I got this free. I know it's a Dollar Tree one, but I got this from for free last year when I was um, at the Dog Fest. And this was before I even had Lola. I just won a bunch of free stuff, so I decided to keep it for my future dog. This is a size medium. She'll grow into it. This is a cap for, um, um, for wet food. Um, I got this free bandana. It's blue. I got this one for free. I also got some poop bags for free. And also, if you guys have never heard of Lucy and Company, it is a brand that makes, um, harnesses, um, bandanas, uh, collars and leashes, and it is a uh, local small business. Um, this is size small, this is the card was, and it was a limited edition, and I got it for 15% off. Um, if you're interested in any of the um, bandanas, they're super soft. Um, I just picked this one up because it was on sale, and it would be so cute for Christmas time, and you can... Um, and, like move it like this to make it smaller to kind of like fit around her neck so I have those I have a bunch of ribbons and such in here because I'm planning on making bows for her so I just have that in there for her I put some of this stuff back we can make room for the new okay so the next thing I got I think it was last weekend um I picked up the uh, Great Choice Dog Pads, the extra large size. They come in with 10 in there. So I'm just using these um, to try them out. They're leak-proof, odor control, easy cleanup, and adhesive tabs. Um, super great, actually. Um, so I thought I'd try this. Um, the next item I have are, is this. I went to the Dollar Tree. And they had a new oatmeal enhanced shampoo deodorizing. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, it helps soothe dry, itchy skin, eliminates pet body odor, and creates soft and shiny coat. So I thought I'd try this out. I will make another video reviewing these items and see how they are. 
The next thing I got, this was a sample I got from the Valley Dog and Cat Hospital. It's a sample size of moisturizing shampoo with a cucumber melon scent. It smells so good. It smells like cucumbers. I love it. It smells really, really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy that again, honestly. Okay, the next thing I got from the dollar store was a 60 piece dog waste bags. Super cheap, only for a dollar, but you get like four of them, and they come with two printed and two solid. Thought it was cute. Um, at the dollar store, I also picked up the Bansex, Bansex Squeeze on Flea and Tick Control for dogs, but you can only use this when she's six months of age. Um, over six months of age or seven to 33 pounds. Um, this is a one month supply. So I would use this when she is six months old. Um, it's easy application, kills, repels, fleas, and ticks quickly um, for up to four weeks. The next item I got, I haven't taken the tag off yet, but I got this from um, Walmart. It is just a grooming brush and I wanted one that was super like soft. Um, and guys, let me know if you think I should start an ASMR channel because I've been kind of like getting into it and I currently and have always had anxiety in my life and when I hear like sounds like that, it gives me the tingles and it makes me super calm. So I like thought about like doing ASMR so like the sound sounds so cool to me. Anyways, um, this is the Porcupine Brush Medium to Long Coats Brush and Fluff. So it just has the, um, like a regular hairbrush like humans, and then it has around the little things, they have like another brush that's more like a, the brush you would use if you are, um, I don't know what it's called, honestly, but that's what the brush looks like. Super nice, great. Let me put this stuff away. I had got these little bins from Dollar Store, so I put like each bin is like certain things, like health related. Okay, the next items I got were um, this Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator by OxyClean. I got this from the dollar store. Um, I got it just for in case because although we don't have any carpet down stairs where she will be, we have it upstairs. And um, the first few months, I think we're going to keep her downstairs until she is fully potty trained. Um, but we do have rugs in there, so in case she makes a little little tinkle tinkle, we can use this. It smells so good. And it loosens and helps lift up 25% more dirt. The next item I got um, is a Fresh Breath by Tropiclean Clean Teeth Oral Care Gel in peanut butter removes plaque and tartar. I don't remember how much this was because Chris actually got it for me, for her, as a welcome gift. Um, so it says 80% of dogs begin to show signs of oral disease by age three. Um, easy to use, no brushing required. You just place the two drops in her mouth on either side and it will start breaking up the tartar. So I thought that was pretty neat because I know some dogs, they don't like toothbrushes and such. So I wanted to do that. The next item I have, um, I was actually sponsored to review this. When she gets here, I'm gonna use it and post a video and um, photo on my Instagram of this product. I was asked to review a product, um, a new and upcoming product called Moke Paws, and um, it is a antiseptic antifungal wipes with um, chlorexetine and ketoconazole. Comes with 50 wipes for dogs, cats, and horses, deep cleaning and deodorizing. Um, this also works great for um, hot spots as well. Um, so once I review all this, I will become the brand ambassador for this wonderful brand. Um, I think it's awesome because it's super universal. It does like almost any pet you could think of. I love that sense of skin and I love that it's, um, it does like lots of things. Like you can use it for ear wipes. Um, they have different like products and stuff and they're actually quite affordable this was only $13 and 47 cents they gifted it to me for free so in promise of a review which I will be um, you can find these on Amazon as well um, for $13.47 um, they have other various other products including shampoos um, sprays 
and um, I'm trying to think, other kind of deodorant, what deodorizing wipes as well. So please look into the Moke. You can find them on Instagram, on Moke Pauls, and you can also look them up online. And this also is great for um, finger folds, face folds, underarms, and groin areas as well. So I will be using this. The next item I have is actually more of like a sentimental piece, but this one's called my Fur Baby record book and it's super cute um basically i just have you put a picture of your baby and then you put her name and this stuff like the contents include um the pooch's profile important information public profile family and friends first days first favorite things typical day who's the good doggy walkies first pup anniversary getting up to mischief mischief and so on they have milestone cards as well so in the back here, these are like cards that you can take out of the book and you can get a picture of them for their first, like their first bath, um, the first obedience lesson, first day at home, things like that. Um, uh, so I thought that was super cute. It was $5 at Barnes & Noble. The next item I got was from christianbook.com. Um, this was... A one of a kind memory book for you and your dog by Dog Tales. Moment memory with your beloved pet. And they just basically ask questions like about your dog, um, how you met them, and how they came into your life. What brand of food does he or she like? What their favorite toys are, favorite treats, favorite kind of time of season, and whatnot. Okay, the next thing, the first treat I got her were these schnozzes. I wanted to get the soft ones because she's got baby teeth. And I chose the beef and cheese flavor because my boyfriend's dog, um, Blanco, is in love with cheese flavors. So I was like, let me get the cheese flavor. She might like it. So, that's that. I also, I have more treats also, guys. Wait, I'll get into that. I have a bag filled with all her stuff before I go and get her. So I'm going to look at those a little bit in a little bit. The next thing I got was the Rosé All Day Squeak Toy. So cute. I had to pick it up. It's by Zippy Paws. Um, also, when you buy this product a Tuesday morning, it's a dog for dog. So every time you purchase a toy from them, they'll donate um, money to a dog that is hungry or in a shelter. So there you go. This is also a Zippy Paws. Thought that was super cute. You can see. Okay, the next item I got are these bulbs. Um, I can't remember where I got them at. Oh. Let me see. It says it right here. It's a six pack of tennis ball dog toys for $4.99. Um, non toxic, pet safe, intended for small dogs. Um, it's by the brand Avalanche. So I thought that was really cute. Something small like that. Then we went to Walmart and we got a Chew thing. I love the colors on here. Again, you will notice many of her toys are pink or purple. Um, here is another one. It's a squeaker toy and it says, that's so fetch. Again, all of most of these toys I got from Tuesday morning, but I thought I'd just share. This one was from the dollar store. It's a little hippo and it's got crinklies and um, a squeaker. Um, the next item I have is another crinkly flamingo. has a squeaky as well, but this one was from Walmart. And uh, let me see. I've got a dental chew. Um, this is good for tartar cleanup as well. And then this is a Nyla bone for teething and soothing, flexible, occupying flavor throughout in chicken flavor. I thought this would be good for her because she's so young. And then this is something I ordered from uh, Paul's First. Um, it is a toothbrush, basically, so it would make it easier to clean her teeth once she gets a little bit older. She can chew on this, and you place the toothpaste in this hole here. And then on the sides here, there's holes, so as she's chewing, it comes out and goes onto her teeth. Okay, this bag here is all packed up for Monday when I go. 
Um, I just have an extra pad in here just in case. You never know. Uh, next item. I haven't taken this apart yet, but my boyfriend got her first toy from him and from Blanco. It is the Lamb Chop Dog Toy, which is $4.99 from Pet Value. It's super cute. I just think it's so cute. Okay, the next item I got was from the dollar store. They asked for rope toys. They said make sure you have rope toys always for a puppy because they love chewing things. So I thought I'd just get her one of these like rope balls. Um, the next item I got is this rubber um, dog pink chew toy from the dollar store. It's super cute. And they also come in various other colors. So if she really likes them, I'm probably going to go back and get some more. Then I have this um, this Mammoth Tire Biter um, tire for puppies. It's made for puppies under 15 pounds and dogs. Um, it was $3.99. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got it at. I think I got it from Walmart. Or no, I got it from Tuesday morning. So these are um, natural rubber with two ply nylon, perfect for playtime. So I wanted to get her a little ball and you can like roll it around and such. So I wanted to have various toys in her to-go bag when I go get her so she can have pick what she wants. This is a um, travel size bowl just in case you never know. She might get thirsty. Um, I also have this beautiful leash. It's a Hawaiian leash, four feet, and it just looks like this. It's super adorable. And this part's like super big though. <laughs> The next item I have are these healthy dog pet green soft chew dog treats for training and puppies. Um, it is in chicken flavor and it has wheatgrass, kale, and spinach in it, which is also very good. Um, and this is up to five treats for puppies for daily serving for 12 weeks and dog 12 weeks and up and dogs one to nine pounds up to eight treats for 10 to 20 pounds. So, this is a pretty healthy brand. I looked into it because I, when I train her, I want to make sure she's being healthy and she's not taking in too many calories because I just worry about her health. This I got from Walmart. It's a 100 count jumbo deodorizing um, wipes for dogs and puppies. Gently wipes away dirt and oil. I wanted to get one that was for puppies because they are super small and vulnerable and I don't want anything to be irritating to her. This is in the vanilla coconut scent. It smells so good, honestly. I'm just bringing this for emergencies. Okay, so this is my Ipsy bag. <laughs> I'm just using it to hold her collar right now. We'll see if this actually fits, but this is by the Top Dog, Top Paul brand from PetSmart. Also, I got the leash from PetSmart too. I didn't know if you said that or not, if I said that or not. And it just looks like this, and it's very adjustable. Um, I love the color of it. It's super cute. So, And then I also have a dispenser from State Farm that I got for free. And it's got poopy bags in it just in case. So we have her bed and her gate downstairs. The gate is nice because it's a two-in-one, which I have gotten from PetSmart as well. I got it on sale. Um, it's normally a hundred and, um, eighty dollars, I think, and I got it for a hundred and sixty-four, which was a pretty good price. Um, so I like it because it's a two-in-one. You can use it either for a gate or you can use it as an enclosure outdoors or indoors, which is really great for her, teaching her how to potty train, um, especially because we do not have a, um, fence up yet, so... heard somebody coming anyway so we'll be doing that so we've got all of her things um so I just want to show you some of the things we've got in her we're gonna get some a Kong for her this coming weekend um, because they say putting fruits and stuff like apples and blueberries are really good and healthy for them and you can also freeze the Kong as well to it's good for their teeth um, also if you guys live in a wooded area 
um, and have small puppies, um, I would definitely go to your vet and speak to them about flea and tick stuff because especially for little babies, they say at six months um, is when you should start walking her outside and um, in the neighborhood or whatever. Um, my dog, um, she um, is six weeks right now. She'll be seven weeks when I get her. I met her when she was five weeks and she already has an Instagram account. It's called Lola May and Mama, um, which also proceeded for me to get this YouTube account because I want to eventually review items and um, for her and for dog mamas um, because I'm super highly passionate about dogs and they are wonderful um, animals. Um, I just have a passion for them and I wanted to make my YouTube all about my little girl Lola and me and our adventures we have together. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe. This is my first video again and um, I will link her um, Instagram handle down below um, as well as mine if anyone's interested in contacting me directly. Um, also on her account she has a email on where on there that you can contact me about any kind of reviews or um, sponsorships anything like that or if you have any questions in general about Lola or questions about like um, how to get started as puppy owner um, I'm very new at this this is my first time but like in the future if you guys have any questions just ask me um, and like and subscribe and Lola will be here very soon, so in the next video, you will be meeting her, and she is the sweetest little girl on this planet. I love her so much, and she is like my child, so I just hope you guys enjoy her adventures and her sweet, sweet smiles. So, bye guys, and thanks for watching, and I hope some of these essentials that help you get an idea of what's to come for your first puppy, or a puppy in general, and, um... Stay tuned for the next video for our baby girl to come. Be the fan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the